What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Mud Tire where today I'm about to walk you through the steps that it takes to repaint the interior of your vehicle and make it look like new. Now the vehicle we're going to be working with today of course is my personal TJ Wrangler and the reason I'm going to be working on this one is actually because I just took in a set of half doors on trade and let me tell you these things are horrible inside. Someone actually already tried to repaint the interior on at least one of these doors and you can tell because it is flaking off all all over the place. Now we're going to do a better job than this and I'm going to show you how to do a better job than this. Now I've already taken the time to set up a proper workstation to do this job at and you're going to want to do the same. Take some jack stands or a large table, cover the top, that way you don't have to worry about overspray in your interior. Now everything you need to do this job is right here on this table right now. You're going to need to make sure you have a spray bottle of alcohol. Now this is denatured or you can use isopropyl. Both will work just fine. You're going to use that in conjunction with this a gray 800 grit scuff pad. Now once you've done that step, you're going to prep your surface using a proper tack cloth for painting. Now the paint I recommend you use is this, the SEM Color Coat Interior Spray. Now this is highly recommended across the internet because it does such a good job of coating with so few coats and it never seems to have an issue with flaking or adhesion to your interior panels. So there are other options, but I recommend you use SEM just because it comes highly recommended across the board. Now with all that covered, I'm going to get these door skins out of the Jeep and over to the table so we can start prepping them for paint. So now that I've got these panels off of the Jeep, I can start working on them. And the first step is gonna be prep work. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is grab our alcohol. Like I said, I'm using denatured alcohol in a spray bottle, as well as a gray 800 grit scuff pad. Now, the goal with this scuff pad is to just scour up the surface and get off any contaminants, any loose material like this old paint. Once all the loose contaminants are gone, then we move on. We're not actually grinding down the top surface. We want to keep that nice texture of the original material. All right, so if you look right here, you can see this is a kind of a problem that I want you to look out for. You can see where the original paint that they used is actually peeling up. Now you don't wanna start spraying over something like that because this is a raised edge. And no matter whether or not you paint over it, that raised edge will still be there. As well as these little pick marks, these little bubbles, you wanna make sure to get rid of all that and you've got a clean surface before you start. You wanna make sure to get plenty of solvent on here so you know that it liquefies the old paint. Then you're gonna take your scouring pad and continue to work this down until you either have a surface that's completely smooth and grayed out, or you're gonna have no more raised edges where these come and go, because that is going to be your problem areas. No. All right, so our prep work is done. Our masking is complete. The next step is to start laying down coats. Now, the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna do it in a couple small coats. We're gonna start with a light dusting to get a base layer started, and then we're gonna move up to a next time, a little bit thicker coat. Hey Siri, set a timer for five minutes. All right, so the first coat is on, and if you look really close, you can tell that I did not do a very heavy coat, and this is because this is our base coat. You want it to be light, kind of a dusting. It's not gonna be complete coverage. That comes later. So we're gonna give this five minutes to dry, just like the instructions on the can. Then we're gonna come back, lay on a second thicker coat, and we're gonna start building up until we get full coverage.
and we are done. Already this paint has dried up really well and take a look at what our finish is like. I mean, we've retained the grain that this plastic has molded into it. Here is my absolute favorite part. I'm gonna pick this thing up. Look how close that is. You see how the dash is just a little bit lighter than what this color turned out to be? I mean, honestly, if this was a new dash, I really think this would match up perfect. Well guys, that is it. It was really that easy and it only took an afternoon and probably about $40 out of my pocket to have so much cleaner looking doors that actually match my interior. So if you've been riding around with a nasty interior and you really need to clean it up like I did, look, just take a little bit of cash, take a late afternoon, you can knock this project out so fast and you will love the outcome. Guys, I appreciate you watching. I hope you found this helpful. And if you did, consider subscribing. And if you have any further questions, ask them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Hope you have a great day in the shop and I will see you on the trail.